this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and I am here to share my 2018 planner lineup. I know I'm a little late. I've been sick. I've not been able to record in my usual space because we don't heat that part of the house when it's really cold and I didn't want to suffer in the cold while I was sick so I'm using a new setup, a different setup and I'm also using a new camera. So, it's kind of a learning curve and a space change. Anyway, so these are the planners that I will, that I'm starting out with for 2018. I'm not sure that I will stick with all of these. Um, I may narrow this down a little bit. Not all of these are actual planners, so, but we'll get into that. I'm going to start from the top. Nope, I'm going to start from the bottom. This is the Happy Planner Deluxe cover in black. I got this last year and I actually had a Recollections Planner in it. This year I have the Trendsetter Planner in it. And if you don't know, this is a Happy Planner. Um, the Trendsetter is a monthly planner, as you can see here. And it has in between the months daily to do's that you can fill out for the month so you're not strapped into having a weekly spread to fill out if you don't need it and in this case I don't need it this will be for my YouTube channel my social media um, and my business so I didn't really need weekly um, weekly spreads to fill out so the monthly is enough with the to do's and the note pages so, so this is what a standard month would look like. You'd have your at-a-glance calendars for the current month, the previous month, and the next month. Then it has this little planning, watching, cooking, eating, drinking stuff that I really don't use. Big ideas, celebrating this month, birthdays this month. Since I'm using this for business, I probably won't fill out any of that. Then... Here is the monthly calendar on two pages. It is a dated planner. Then it has um, some habit trackers in the sidebar. It has the month at a glance. Top three for the month. Monthly goals, note to self, checklists, uh, happy plans. Just, I guess, just a grid space up here. And the get it done list and a focus on list. And I'm sure you've probably seen this planner a million times already. <laughs> on YouTube if you're if you watch a lot of planner videos for the happy planner but and then you have several pages of daily to do's and then some note pages and this basically repeats the same thing throughout the months also in this planner I know it's not necessarily business related but I kind of take both of these things equally as serious um, I've added the budget planner in the back of the trendsetter. So this year I have high hopes for my budgeting and my savings especially. So, so I will be doing a lot more tracking um, of what I spend and what versus what I save, etc. etc. Um, I, I was looking at this month at a glance section. I'm not sure that I will use this because I've already really um, reduce my spending and bills and debt and everything so I'm not sure that I need all of that but I did want a way to track expenses and I'm still not even sure that I need these pages I, I'm, I'm not sure that I need this whole budget um, kit now that I have it because they came out with the half sheets for expenses where you can track your expenses on a half sheet and really I'm thinking that's all I need I don't know but our stores haven't uh, our Michaels doesn't have any of the new stuff yet the only thing they had was the budget um, sticker book so I'm still working out how this is going to how I'm going to set this up because I was also making in the process of making some um, budget inserts myself but this is the extension kit for the um for budget, the budget planner. 
So, and the, I think this is just six months worth. So you would need two of these. Another reason. That's that's really a reason why I like to make my own inserts because I don't want to have to go back and buy this all over again. When if I make a printable, then I can print it as many times as I need to. But that's neither here nor there. Here is um, some of the stickers that came with it. Um, and that's it. I don't really, really, I mean, I have, I don't, I haven't decorated anything. I just kind of stuck everything together how I wanted it. I got some little labels here that I probably, I may or may not use. It is, it's, it's ready to go. <laughs> then the next one that I have, I did buy the, um, hardcover and I just put this band on here to hold it close. I did purchase the hardcover for this happy planner and this one is I think it's just the simple modern I think it's called I'm not sure but it's just the, the you've probably seen this in my haul video it's just a basic happy planner for 2018 it is dated the colors are black and white and gray with a little rose gold mixed in here and there and yeah this will be used as memory keeping in a scrapbooking kind of way so I don't do I don't have scrapbooks I don't actually do scrapbooking but I'm thinking I can record day-to-day -day stuff in limited space and actually accomplish it instead of trying to fill out you know a whole journal page or a whole scrapbook page whatever the case may be I do want to record things that happen on the day to day and then my kids can look back at this later on and you know just see it's like a keepsake basically and that's what kind of what I wanted to want to design this as a keeps a keepsake and this was just me testing out a graphic file of mine <laughs> And I decided to just go ahead, punch it, and stick it in here. But that's what this planner will be for. So I can decorate to my heart's content. It is not specifically for planning. This is actually for memory keeping, and I need to get started with that ASAP. So, and this is what it looks like. The next one did not have this in my original photo of my planner lineup on Instagram, but I decided I might want to include it. I haven't actually set anything up. This is an A5 a Recollections binder, and I kind of took out all of the pages that I had, the planner pages that I completed um, from last year. But I pretty much left everything in here that I wanted to keep. But I haven't added anything more because I'm thinking I may use this for my From Scratch spreads again. I started out my first week in January using um, a B6 notebook that I made. And I'm not sure that I want to do my From Scratch spreads in, Traveler's no in that size Traveler's Notebook and in that particular Traveler's Notebook. So I may switch back to using the, the A5. So I added this to the lineup just in case I do decide to make that switch. And I've already started getting it ready. Um, I will be adding some dividers. And instead of trying to do seasonal stuff with this, I've decided that I will just make some basic standard. So I'll probably just do um, some black scallop dividers. That's a new uh, cut file that I have available. So I'll probably use that and I may even play around with um, foiling on those. Or I might even test my hand at a little um, vinyl. Because I haven't tried that with my silhouette yet. So I was just thinking last night, maybe I should just do some vinyl and see how that works. Okay. The next one is a tool notebook. They were on clearance at Office Depot. I picked it up. It came with smaller black rings. So I also purchased the rose gold rings. And they are a little bigger than the rings that came with this. 
and these are the labels for the dividers that I added to it I picked those up as well so it already has um, the poly dividers I had this from a previous purchase and I just included that in here I also had this clear zipper pocket from a previous purchase that I included in here and actually I got that one upside down this is from ARC so are these these are both ARC um, pieces so I added those and then this is just basic note paper um, just a tool half sheet note paper this small um, page mark magnet is from the Walmart planner uh, supply line so this again is just all blank paper and it does have a pen loop as well so that's all that's in here and this will just be for notes important notes and I always keep the paper that comes with and just stick it in the back so there is that um, and then my next one is an oldie but goodie this was one of my first um, high-end planners I got it from the Kate Spade outlet here and yeah it was like a midnight run to the outlet to grab it because they were on sale so I even kept my receipt and the book I keep that in here <laughs> just for the memories and I haven't set it up I pretty much emptied it out um, but I will be using this from time to time this is one of the inserts that I, I plan to set up for January I will be using it from time to time because I still love a personal planner and sometimes I just want to revisit it and actually use it and I also use it to play around with inserts so and there's nothing really in here it's not set up it's just bare bones right now so but that is it this is case bait and I carried this around in my purse for a long time as a wallet until it just was it was just too heavy I mean just itself is heavy and then adding everything in it for a wallet it just made it too much so I had to give that up so it's been sitting on the shelf for a while and I decided to pull it back out since I'm going with this black theme of planners it fit right in and last but not least this is the most recent traveler's notebook that everything's falling apart that I um, got from mystics little gifts this is a b6 if you want to know the details of the leather leave me a comment below and I'll let you know I can never remember off the top of my head about the different leathers and this is one of my little page marks it still has Christmas stuff in it so I really need to update this notebook and I've been doing a little at a time like I mentioned I've been a little sick so anyway I've made some um, inserts for my reusable dashboards using the recolor app so I've colored the images then I basically um, share them with myself through email and open them in Photoshop and resize to the size that I need um, really once I download them they're very close to the B6 size already so there's not much resizing involved so this is one of the dashboards that's the other side and then this is just a notebook cover that I used that I made using the recolor app and you can see they have the logos still on them from the recolor app and this is the notebook that I mentioned earlier where I did my first week of January and I'm not sure I will finish this and like I said I still have Christmas stuff in here um, this was just a pattern paper that I was playing around with this is my um, pen loop that I made this was the first one that I made and now I have several different colors of elastic ribbon to play around with so I will be making more of those and then this is just a uh, mead notebook and I use the pattern paper to cover it 
next piece of vellum and another the other side of the dashboard so again nothing fancy nothing fabulous I just kind of put everything in here I have some stickers that I'm using that I cut apart and put it in this folder which is again still a Christmas folder that I need to change out and that this is what's made me decide that I'm not gonna do um, I need to straighten that up I'm not gonna do seasonal stuff because I do not feel like changing it out every month or whatever the case may be so I may ask a few little seasonal accents but that's it and this is um, some number business card size number sheets that I designed they are available uh, on my website as printables and the cut files are included so that I can easily number if I need to any undated inserts and then this is my first quarter insert which I need to go ahead and get started filling out for this week so this goes all the way to March and this again is a printable available on my website in the shop at scrapcraftastic.com so that's everything um, this was a piece of vellum that was gifted to me and here we go with the Christmas ribbon again <laughs> so that is everything um, my complete planner lineup for 2018 if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below I will be working on setting up a few of these um, the happy planners are basically the way they're going to be um, the tool notebook is also the way it's going to be so the only things that I'll be playing around with setting up along the way are the personal size Kate Spade the recollections a5 and my mystics little gifts um, b6 travelers notebook so these three need to be brought up to date and I need to add inserts or change the decor or whatever the case may be but everything else is ready to go and when I do make changes in these I will try to record it or share it on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram please go over there and follow that is all I have for now thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later bye